I'm sorry about this morning. Mommy just got a little mad, okay? Yeah, Mommy? It'll be our little secret. Do you still love Mommy? Yeah, Mommy? Good. Because I do love you, Mary Jane. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mommy's gonna buy you a mockingbird. How stable is a mother who finds herself suddenly deprived of wealth, position, and her once perfect family? How would one person cope with all the frustrations of a life that's suddenly gone sour? Drugs? Alcohol? Rowena Harper tries these things. But she takes it one step further. And that's why Mary Jane Harper Cried Last Night by Joanna Lee. Three-year-old Mary Jane bunched up her little mouth to deposit dry kisses on the nose of the small kitten she cradled in her arms. Mommy left, kitty. You be good, kitty, now or mommy think. Mary Jane, where are you? I told you to stay in your room. Your father will be here any time now. Her mother's face grew hard with frustration as she lifted Mary Jane back into her crib. She pulled the dirty play suit off the child, and a pretty white lace dress was slipped on quickly over Mary Jane's head. Today is very important. She proceeded to groom the child, using gentle strokes of a bristle brush, ruffled socks, patent leather shoes. It all added to the effect. A perfect little girl standing in her crib, clean, brushed, and smiling. There, you look just like a princess in a storybook. But that didn't last for long. While Rowena was getting herself ready, MJ slipped outside. Rowena glanced over her shoulder, and there was Mary Jane, covered from head to foot with thick, black garden mud. Mary Jane, what did you do to yourself? Kitty went bye-bye. I fall down. I'm sorry. Sure you're sorry. You're always sorry. Rowena took hold of Mary Jane's arm and dug her nails in so deep that the blood began to trickle down. She took Mary Jane back into her room and put her in her crib. She slammed the door on the way out. Mary Jane heard nothing in the darkness. Her eyes grew wider and wider for fear. She called for her mother. Mommy! Mommy! Dark! But no one came. The next morning, Mary Jane opened her eyes slowly as the morning sun came in through the window. She was once again standing up in her crib, crying, but this time because her pants were wet. Mommy! All right! It's the same old problem. You wet yourself and then you cry. Why don't you at least try to go to the bathroom? Mary Jane, stop crying. Please. Head hurts. You know what you get for wetting your pants. Maybe this will teach you a lesson. With that, Rowena put the cigarette out on MJ's buttocks. Mary Jane was quiet, too quiet. She lay there and did not say a word until her mother came back into the room. Rowena picked up Mary Jane and took her to the kitchen for breakfast. There was a bit of old cereal left over from yesterday morning. Just run a little bit of hot water and it's food. Besides, it's just for Mary Jane. Okay, let's see the big girl feed herself. No, I don't like cereal. Well, that's all there is. And you have to eat it. Rowena stuffed a spoonful of the cereal down the child's throat. 
Mary Jane just spit it right back out at her mother's face. She pulled her hand back and slapped MJ as hard as she could. I... I'm sorry, MJ. I... It's just... I can't take it! The house smells like smoke. Things keep following you like smoke and following you until you blow them away. Until you get away from them. Like... Like... Like out in the desert. That's it. Just... Just drive and get away. We're going bye-bye, MJ. We can't stay here anymore. We'll go away. Would you like that, MJ? Don't look at me like that. Don't! You have to go away! You have to leave me alone! They were out the door and driving away within five minutes. Their escape? A motel out in the desert. In their room was a framed print of an ugly seascape on the peeling walls. There was a double bed, which took up most of the room, but Rowena saw none of that. The shadows were closing over everything. Gray. It was all gray. It wasn't working. There was no escape. No liquor. No escape. And for Rowena, the reason was sitting on the bed, whimpering, curled into a pathetic little Here, stop crying, MJ. MJ was howling. She wanted out of that dirty place, back in her crib. She wanted her daddy. The room blistered with noise. Rowena couldn't think. You have to do what I say. Stop making trouble all the time. Stop looking at me. I'll make you go away. <laughs> Listen. No voices. No crying. I can you to go away and leave me alone now, MJ. I want it to be quiet now, okay? Just be quiet and sleep. Sleep, little baby. Shh. Rowena turned off all the lights in the room. She cradled her baby girl in her arms on the edge of the bed, gently rocking, softly singing. She dressed her child for nap time. And MJ's pale little arms fell limply to her side. Hush, little baby, don't say a word.